What's going on everybody? My name is Rev and welcome back to another Dauntless video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the patch notes that come with Call of the Void on June 11th, 2020. And we're just going to dive right hecking into it just like we always do. Now, we got a new setup with the uh, brand new uh, patch notes, actually. So that's this is pretty exciting. First time looking at them, so we'll just experience it together. We got Umbral Escalation. We already know what it is. We've released plenty of videos on Umbral Escalation. It's very, very fun. Um, Strange Ruins, Dark Energy, and Lost Civilization. Discover the new Umbral Escalation and take up arms against the new threat looming beyond the Shattered Isles. Thrax. Thrax is a new behemoth and is also the next patch note. To challenge Thrax, you'll need to make your way past the Shadow Touch behemoths that lurk in the Umbral Deeps. Umbral variants of Nezaga, Koshai, and Drask will block your path, but you'll need to face them and brave the depths to uncover the truth. We've got a trailer there that y'all can check out. I'll put the uh, link to these patch notes in the description so you guys can check out any videos or any, extra, any extras of these patch notes. We also have the new behemoth Thrax, which is like Malkarian or Torgadoro. Um, Thrax is the apex behemoth of the Umbral Escalation. With the power to tear holes in reality and strike from anywhere, this agile behemoth is not to be taken lightly. Thraxes are fast, deadly portals used... Um, de deadly portal use Fast, deadly portal users who can attack from anywhere. Holy moly, that was hard. So you'll need to keep your eyes peeled, uh, your head on a swivel, and your fingers hovering the dodge. Hovering the dodge. We got the Relics and Ruin Hunt Pass, which is like a celestial-themed hunt pass. Pretty cool. We know the Void Runners traverse these caves, but for what purpose? Investigate the ancient ruins and learn their secrets with the new hunt pass. Earn rewards while you hunt and make your way to level 50. Relics and Ruin is active until now and ends... July 23rd. Nice. We got it. So we got a lot of time. Slayer Journal. This is new to the Hunt Pass rewards, and it gives like concept art and little bits of lore. And I really like this edition. I've been asking for more lore within Dauntless for a very long time. So this hits a soft spot for me. It's not like the most like crazy reward ever but i i just want more story in this game that i play a ton of anyway discover the secrets of the shattered isles by unlocking journal entries the mystery of the umbral deeps the behemoths and even ramsgate itself are revealed to you as you you explore training grounds i've released a video on training grounds it's what you expect training dummies builds and um dps meters and all that stuff so you can uh, expect that out of the training grounds. You can queue up at, for hunts there. You can uh, queue up for for the training ground, uh, grounds themselves in Ramsgate. Try out new weapons, learn combos, test loadouts, and help new players. The training grounds have arrived, giving you a chance to get comfortable with different gear and maximize your damage output. If you've ever wanted to try out a build without putting your face in the path of an ember main, this is the place to do it. All right. And then on top of all this stuff, we have uh, some stuff behind the scenes that are live, but also still a very big deal. Client authoritative dodging is now live. Uh, we have Dauntless now available in Russian, which is cool. The uh, Trials Aether Striker skins, Victorious and Champion, are now available in Lady Lux Store. The main menu has been reworked to match the scale of the game we have now. We uh, um, And to allow for some new features we'll be releasing in the future, it's also much easier to navigate on consoles. Nice. The Oculus Umbra Booster Bundle is now available. It contains 600 Platinum, a 7-day Escalation boo Boost, booth, uh, 5 Premium Bounty Tokens, and the new Oculus Umbra Lantern Skin. Nice. I did not know about that. We got uh, Weapon Changes. Looks like Aether Striker is getting the nerf. Yes, the nerf. Uh, Focus Assault nerfed, Spirit Barrage nerfed, Mighty Squall nerfed, Karma Breaker nerfed, um, wow, the dot of Karma Breaker got freaking destroyed, 
Uh, Titan's Crash can now hit, now hits two fewer. Yeah, so it's nerfs across the board. Sur uh, but Surge ability is now less likely to leave you stuck inside of a behemoth. Uh, one thing I will say about Aether Strikers on the test realm is that it felt really, really good to chain your mantras and your surges together. I didn't get any like weird overlap when you have a lot of attack speed. And um, overall, I think they nailed that. I don't know if they made a, a, a particular change there, but it just felt really good and responsive on uh, playing Aether Strikers. Uh, Warpike, Piercing Flurry. Uh, up from 75, uh, so 5th attack hit. Uh, so the flurry, like the actual flurry of piercing flurry, got a 5 damage buff. And Aether Harvester got a... Oh, Aether Harvester got a pretty substantial uh, buff. Like a 10% buff on that combo. Nice. So your right clicks on Warpike are going to be really, really potent. Uh, which is what you should be spamming anyway. So, Or your heavy attacks, I should say. Not right clicks. Chain blades, uh, bladed edge, fifth attack. Uh, so your mashing light attack combo is buffed. And swinging blades and blade finisher. Swinging blades. Ah, uh, so the finishers got buffed. Nothing really crazy for the chain blades there. Um, most of the time you're going to be spamming uh, swinging blades anyway. So, so you got a little bit of damage there, but nothing crazy. Fixed an issue where the hammers of facing blast and jumping blasts were harder to hit in some circumstances. So that's good. The the interrupt will now be easier to land, which is uh, much better. So it's a good quality of life for the hammer. The hammer's been getting really buggy lately, and that's unfortunate. Let's move on to the repeaters. Fix a bug with twin sun repeaters where detonating the bombs wouldn't apply the full duration empowerment buff. Fix a bug where the marksman chamber would not be shown in the repeater's crafting screen, even when the player was able to craft and upgrade it. Fix a bug where the combo lists for repeaters sometimes showed the wrong buttons. <laughs> There's only a, how many buttons are there for the repeaters? It's like, what? I mean, not many, not many, not many combos. Fix a bug where hovering over repeater prisms in the loadout, didn't display the unique passive associated with the prism until it was equipped. Hmm. Interesting. So nothing crazy for the repeaters. No damage buffs. No nothing. Um, but did get some quality of life fixes. Axe throws can now break parts, splitting, uh, break apart, splitting projectiles. Really? Okay. Nice. Let's see what they got under miscellaneous. We got level 1 to 10 weapon upgrades no longer require slayer levels or mastery. Yo, that's a really sick change. That's huge. No more mastery gating on weapons. That's like, I didn't know about this change. That's insane. That's really good. Uh, I, I'm really happy with that. That's a huge quality of life. So fix an issue where the Torgadora legendary abilities was granting 50% damage when the target was below 25% health. Instead of the 25% damage when the target was below 50% health. So they got him like mixed up? I don't I don't know. So I guess it was kind of weird. Uh fix a bug that caused scrave weapons unique effects, visual effects to play indefinitely. Yo, that sounds like it would melt your switch. Uh behemoths. Bunch of behemoth changes. Uh, let's see. Fix a bug that allowed Terra procs on Karabak. Improve collision on Valamir orbs. When interrupted from a pounce, Bloodfire Embermane will now be staggered for a longer period of time. Embermane's about to get bodied even harder. Added an interrupt window to Nezaga's slide attack, creating an opportunity to boop the snoot. That, uh, Nezaga just went from, like, one of the harder behemoths to one of the easier ones. Nezaga starts its fight with the slide attack so you'll just be able to interrupt it right out the gate that's insane i don't know i don't i don't like that i don't like these i don't like how they're adding interrupt windows to everything but not my game you know what i'm saying uh Pinker's tail swipe now only attacks tail swipe attack now only deals damage with the tail no more head or leg <gasps> yes that's a good change see i was like dismissing these but these are actually really good behemoth changes. 
Uh, Rage Tails uh, Aftershock Slams are now slightly more forgiving to dodge. Nice. Tail Swipe Attack now only deals damage with the tail. No more head or leg. Let's go! Phoenix Labs! You're insane. Unburrow Attack is now avoidable without dodging. Really? You're bringing it back, huh? I'm bringing it back to normal, Hellion. Unburrow Attack no longer leaves lava, pool lava pools when Aether Charge. Unburrow Attack now does slightly less damage. Polished Entry and Exit of Unburrow Attack. Uh, side Gore? Side Gore. I think that's like the, the tackle. Like brings its head down and runs forward. Uh, damage Window now better fits the animation. 270 degree Tail Attack. Now only deals damage with the tail no more. Yes, let's go, Phoenix Labs. Those are like some of the most scuffed hitboxes in the game. Fix a bug uh, that would cause the unburrow attack to do double damage. Hello? All right. Uh, Stormclaw, fingers crossed. Lightning Curse now stops tracking players shortly before firing lightning, allowing you to run out of the area effect. That's how it was before, but then they changed it, and yeah, I don't know. Dude, the, the lightning modifier is, like, scuffed. Anyway, uh, Tempest Born Stormclaw's Lightning Curse now affects all players. That's how it used to be as well. Uh, teleport Pounce now has a clearer and more consistent telegraph. Teleport Pounce. And indicates direction. I haven't seen this. I'll have to see it on live. Fix a bug where storm claws uh, would walk instead of running uh, when trying to pounce. Yeah, that's uh, that was annoying. Reduce the speed of Tempest Born Storm Claws Ball Lightning to make it more consistent with the base version and slightly increase its homing. Hmm. When interrupted from a pounce, Tempest Born will now be staggered for a longer period of time. You can now reflect Storm Claw Lightning Bolt attacks with the axe. Special and repeater secondary fire. Really? Nice. All right. Pretty decent. Oh, Drask. Drask's image is messed up. Fix the bug that allows shock procs on Drask. Oh. Oh. New social panel panel in UI art. You can now open up the interaction menu. Uh, with another Slayer in Ramsgate and in the airship lobby. So it sounds like you're going to be able to like select other players and open up their uh, like social menu from there. Maybe like add as a friend or invite to party uh, by standing next to them. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, you can invite, accept, decline, kick, promote, friend, uh, accept, invite, decline, unfriend, and general whisper, block, unblock. Nice. Visual effect indicators will now show when you have successfully dodged through an attack. This is a really nice quality of life. I really like it. It makes like a nice little chime noise and you glow blue. It's it's nice. Unlocking an escalation boost in the hunt pass will no longer activate the boost immediately and instead make a free store item available to claim when you want it. This is going to be, it's good, but it's also bad because not everybody's going to know that. Not, not everybody's reading the patch notes. And so if you are watching this, make sure that you're getting your escalation boost for free in the cash shop so you can uh you know get that increased exp before the season ends increase uh health that players receive when being revived in hunts and in escalation in order to lower the likelihood of getting one shot immediately after being revived okay nice everybody's running iceborne but you know Added uh, new tutorial slates for the training ground stamina weapon sheathing bounties and the danger meter and crafting Added a new setting in the options screen to control whether the objective tracker HUD is visible or hidden. Setting in the options screen. Okay, nice. So we can uh, hide the objective thing, which will be nice for me because I don't have any objectives left. I can uh, free up that real estate for my content. Changing your hairstyle, face paint, or makeup will now display the name of the item you're equipping. Very nice. When showing face paints and hair tints in the hunt pass screen, your helm will hide automatically. Nice. Made improvements to the tutorial, mastery, and crafting screens. Improved UI remapping controller buttons on PC. Can we do that now? Are we able to do that on controller? Nice. 
I haven't played with the controller in a very long time. A lock is now shown over the armor die regions that aren't available. Okay. Interacting with an NPC depends on completing a quest. Their dialogue will now hint at how to unlock them. A quest lock be a lady and weapons of choice have been removed. Before the Dawn now rewards Dole Arkstone. Uh, Before the Dawn is now Dire Warnings. Bring on the Night is now Dire Warnings. Okay, cool. So they're just like condensing quests and also increase some rewards. Uh, Lantern abilities are locked until the Light the Way quest is accepted. Improved load times, frame rate in Ramsgate uh, is now more consistent. Player owned items will load um, more quickly. That's good. No more like delay on when your cells are going to load in. Uh, reduce CPU usage when around other players. Substantially improved city performance on all platforms. Minor performance improvements on Nintendo Switch. Fix a bug that could cause the game to crash if an output audio device was removed or changed. I have a funny story about this. So when I edit my um, videos on the creator realm, the PlayStation controller, this one, this little doohickey, is um, it. the PC considers these controllers an audio device. And so plugging in my controller to my PC would cause my game to crash. So hopefully they fix that once the patch goes live. Fix several rare crashes, including a crash that could occur when there were no inbox messages. Yo, y'all be... I'll be getting some weird bugs. Interacting with the hunt board while matchmaking now opens the matchmaking UI. Various improvements to the um, to objects on our island improved uh, audio for waterfalls. Hooray! NPC now uh, have a variety of context sensitive greetings as you progress through the game. New visual effects and sound effects for breaking out of the f uh, out of being frozen. God, reading is so hard. We're almost done. Never mind. False alarm. Bug fixes. Canceling a long knockdown via attacking, dodging, using Koshai Lantern will now correctly remove invulnerability from being knocked down. Tragic Echo and Prismatic Grace. Legendary Helm unique effects now trigger more reliably. Uh, fix a bug where players would be immune to the second lightning curse strike if you dodge it at the first. They, Dude, Dauntless has so many like unique, like just very uh, unique weird bugs that are actually given advantage and like high levels of play it's ridiculous and i'm glad that things like the lightning curse you know the second lightning curse is uh you know if you dodge the first one the second one won't hit you it's like all these weird rules and you need to know them all if you want to be like you know top 10 trials or whatever fix a bug where low priority staggers part breaks uh would interrupt high priority staggers it's not really fixing a bug, they just added a feature where, you know, there's a hierarchy of interrupts and now instead of like, you're not gonna like over... If you like land an interrupt and then you get a part break after hitting it once, it's not gonna get up. And, and that's really nice. It's, it's a good quality of life and it prevents them from like being part break like stagger is yeah it just won't just like keep moving away and away and away and away because you broke three parts in a row which is very nice uh fix a bug where a player could uh leave the final arena in blaze escalation made improvements to art and shock escalation fix a bug where nine lives and then from the ashes could proc at the same time consuming both now only one will trigger the first time you get down so these are both like resurrection based um uh, perks and they both do the same thing more or less and so y yeah so now they won't you won't lose two lives at the cost of one uh, fix a bug that caused shock danger zones not to apply damage fix a bug where the behemoth uh, where behemoths could spawn on top of each other <laughs> I've seen this it's pretty funny fix a bug that made uh, it possible to trigger nine lives when dodging through an attack Fix a bug that caused players to occasionally fly off into the sky after viewing the arrival cinematic. Cosmetics. The most important section. Made improvements to the Skyfighter chest armor to make it work better with other arm armors. 
Fix a bug where a slayer's arms might shrink while wearing the Dust Rider's cloak. Fix a bug where beards clip through the Skyfighter mask. Berserk vision, helm transmog, right eye visual effects now attach correctly. Fix a bug that causes the arc of Exocruel banner fabric to be off center and on one side. Fix a bug that could cause some skin. Does anybody use banner? Like, is anybody taking banner seriously? If you say, say I take banner seriously in the comment section, if if you're big on banners. <laughs> Fix a bug that could cause some skin uh, to be invisible when using the seismic soldier chest armor skin on a feminine body type. Fix a bug where certain armor pieces would disappear when using Iceborne or similar visual effects. It's been a long-standing bug. UI and then miscellaneous and then it looks like the very last one is slightly cut off but uh, I'm gonna skip over the UI stuff it's you know it's UI stuff uh, we'll go miscellaneous because this is going pretty pretty long fix a bug where a character could become stuck in their falling animation fix an audio bug where the bosun didn't welcome new slayers to Ramsgate toxic bosun Toxic bosun, always, always never saying hello. Fix a bug where, <laughs> fix a bug that could cause sounds not to play on islands. What? Fix a bug on Nintendo Switch where purchases sometimes didn't appear until after. After what? <laughs> 